Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. So for quite a while now we haven't done any proper videos anymore. So as I promised, uh, you know, the, I want to do the needle thing, uh, but the thing is, um, well, the needles didn't arrive. So unfortunately it's not so easy to get my hands on needles anymore as it used to be back in the day. So so now I will do a little video about um, the, the, basically the ideas behind is make solid black. So here you go again as in like a little stencil which I applied and seems to work pretty cool on the paper on, on this fake skin. So um, so I will make this flower black, at least the, the solid parts of the, 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 the leaves. So for you guys have an idea how to do solid black. But also gonna be a bit of a line work and obviously shading as well because the rose. So we can start with the this uh, solid black. So the line work I normally do is always towards me. As I say here, it didn't really stay. So the reason for the, the, the Vaseline on my hands is, in this case here, just to make it easier to clean. But the real reason behind of it is that when you tattoo it more like a, a more like a dry skin or sort of a skin which takes a lot of sun, also helps to dehydrate the skin straight away while you're tattooing when you're doing the the, the skin in the tattoo. No? So as you can see, in my hands. Like this pos stretching position, which I use all the time, so it's pretty natural for me to to have this stretch position straight away, even if you don't need it here. But you should always stretch the skin, and it's very important, guys, to not ride the tube. Yeah, the 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 the, 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 the. so don't put the needle too deep inside the skin. That would blow the, the, the line later. Luckily, this client doesn't move so much. So it can be really used uh, the full length of the needle. <coughs> I think the next video will be the same thing but on a real tattoo. So from beginning to the end, like a small tattoo, you can do it so we can have like a, the whole full length of video on how the really the needle works on the real skin and how to to not to I find fun this uh, fake skin actually to be honest, I never thought of that before. But I yeah, think you have to get used to them. Once you get used to it you can really do something really cool of it. A friend of mine has a cat made of a silicone like that. And he tattooed the whole cat. It's fucking awesome. Love it. So is that something I which I will Possibly do in the future soon, get like a some sort of animal or something and then a cool cat or something like that where I can just show you guys practicing on it and so on. Some people also use like a, to practice like a oranges, which I find super funny. I never thought about that, but yeah, pretty much it works. So That way for everything, right? So, sounds really hard. Because vibration of the needle on the, on the material. And of course, underneath I have my, my armrest, which is 
so soft, I guess. So that's why it makes this funny sound. And so the line work is done. I got Today we're gonna just show you guys how to do the, the black. From the middle, from the edge, whatever you're tattooing. Out. And it's most circle. So you have this really solid and doesn't damage the skin at all. Which is very important when tattooing a person. Right? So <clears throat> same thing here. Center towards get the needle on the, on the edge of the line and sort of towards you respect the little white in the middle which is the stem from the from the leaf in this case like this again same thing you see the needle I put right there and then I move towards the middle, towards the edge, sorry. Like that. Yeah, I know this is the, 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 the surface where I'm tattooing is not so good for this kind of um, experience. So. Again, obviously if your client, you cannot tell the client like this other hand, so you have to work a bit uh, in a different way. Same thing, be careful with your edges. Try to keep always the, all the edges the same, same space so it looks very even. Again, same thing, slowly touch the skin here and, the, and then you can progress from there nicely and solid. But always be careful to not overpass the, the amount the, the shading the amount of ink you want to have on the leaf to then become uneven no? so both sides is very similar on that amount of uh, the space the white space in this case and you know, the breathing space of the leaf so the next video also will cover the idea of how to create a drawing on where to choose your reference from and step by step how to do a sketch a drawing from for tattooing so which is suitable for making a proper nice stencil so we choose a motif then together we're gonna go online, get the right reference for it, and then tattooing from step by step is all the same. So how to? So today is something I should have had the stencils already prepared. So it's something which was just easy going. For next week's video will be step by step of a sketch from. From reference, so basically go online, sources, what to get, what to do, how to do it, and then until then the stencil, maybe possibly gonna have to split in two times the video, has become too long, but and then make the from this so from, from beginning on until the end how to get this all done. Also, I will cover the same thing. So, possibly the same sketch done with a coil machine once. So, we're gonna have to choose the needles for the coil. So, as everything as I used to do back in the day, I'm gonna do a video on that too. And then. We also video done with uh, tattooing in a hybrid machine, so basically it's like a in between coil and wood trays. So try to cover every edge or every angle from um, from the tattooing available right now in the market, of course. So if you are doing already this step, 
which is you know, it's a platoon or whatever, or you pretty much have already knowledge about what kind of machines you're using, what kind of material you're after. So this is more refining your techniques or learning how to do things differently. On the, you know, that's what works for me doesn't mean it will work for you. Okay, guys, so this means. It's just more like a guidance, what you can refer yourself to, how I do things, but how I do things doesn't mean it's the right thing, it's also not the wrong thing, so, right. so it doesn't mean that or that way, it's just the way everybody has their own way to do things. I try my best to always be clear as much as possible with everything I do. So you guys can understand me and why I'm doing that way. It doesn't mean that like you have to develop your ways to do it the same way. Also, this video is not for you know motivate you to do tattoos at home, but if you do so, it's more to guide or help to guide how to develop something cool, cool skill or something which you are willing to do. You know? So. The primal is not made for that, it's more made for sharing with people who, who really wants to be a tattoo artist or have already some knowledge or or is a beginner but you know is the intent of it is 100 percent to share knowledge with people who are interested in tattoo. So I, I will along the way I'm gonna tattoo a few different things on the fake skin, some real skin, so I would work a lot on that. Uh, with some clients and so you guys can see the difference between different ways, different techniques and so on. And materials are used for them, also very important. So today I'm using here um, a Savile Liner 35 gauge, so um, long taper. And the needle, the <coughs> magnum is 11 magnum, soft edge, 35, also uh, long taper. Okay. The tattoo machine, I will put them below in the description, the machine I'm using. I bought, we bought this tattoo machine um, not long ago on, um, on Amazon, just to try how it goes. But to be honest, I'm pretty satisfied with it. It works good. So in these small corners like this, I always use the edge of the needle. But be aware that it's very difficult. Because, you know, if it's a little wrong corner... So I use a lot of the edge of the, the needles, yeah? So I always use a lot there. Eh? If you go, to go the wrong way, boom, uh, you have a problem. But my my main goal was the black, and the black is there. So, next time I prefer to make the lines better. And, uh, yeah. So guys, um, once again, thank you very much for watching. Um, it would be very nice. I appreciate it if you guys say thumbs up for the channel. And um, so, as I said, next video, we're gonna make a full video on from scratch, from scratch, uh, drawing. So we're gonna go together online, research, sketching it, make everything together, and then tattooing it. Thank you very much for today, and see you next time.